topic of our discussion is the difference between eusporangiate and leptosporangiate ferns. In ferns, sporangium is a spore-bearing structure. Numerous sporangium are further organized to form specialized structures in different groups of ferns. In the case of xylotum, there is a specialized structure which is called a synangium, and synangium contains numerous sporangium inside with spores. In the case of Ecusetum corn, this sporangium is organized into corns, whereas in the case of higher ferns, higher pteridophytes like Teres, Adiandum, etc., this sporangium is clustered together, grouped together to form specialized structures called sorus. In the case of Marsilla, there is yet another specialized structure which is called a sporocarp or the spore-bearing structure which contains numerous number of sporangium inside. And this is a way by which the spores are organized inside sporangium in the case of pteridophytes and that further organized to form specialized structures. Now we let us move into the topic that is the eusporangiate condition. In eusporangiate condition, as in the figure, the, the basic thing is the development of the sporangium. In eusporangiate condition, a number of cells are participated in the formation of this particular sporangium. Secondly, the formation of the sporangium is always a big structure with numerous number of spores. In the case of leptosporangiate condition, a single cell, this single superficial initial cell divides, further divides and ultimately forming the sporangium. The sporangium size of the sporangium is small and there is less number of spores compared to eusporangiate condition. Leptosporangiate condition is often seen in advanced ferns and is considered, therefore considered as an advanced condition whereas eusporangiate condition is seen in primitive ferns. Now moving into the difference between eusporangiate and leptosporangiate ferns. And this sporangial development, this, this is actually a classification based on sporangial development. In eusporangiate condition, it develops from many initial cells. A number of cells are participated in the formation of that particular sporangium. And it's a large sporangium with many spores. And the sporangium sometimes fused to form specialized structures called strinangium, strobilus, etc. as in xylotum and ecusetum. And this is seen in the case of xylotum, salaginella, all are eusporangiate ferns. And this is considered as less advanced compared to leptosporangiate ferns. And this developed from a single initial cell and small sporangium with less number of spores. There is a definite number of spores, often less than 128. And this sporangium has also this uh, sporangium further grouped together to form sorus or maybe forming some specialized structures like sporocarp. Examples include Marsilia, Salvinia, Azola, etc. All are higher ferns or more advanced ferns. And this type of sporangial development is encountered in advanced type of ferns. Uh, things are clear. You are with plantsensefor.com. Thank you so much for watching.